Coming up tonight at 10, we're going to take a look at what you can expect for your Memorial Day weekend coming up. From Camp Shelby to Columbia, ceremonies across the Pine Belt honored fallen heroes today. And is your garden full of bugs? Tips to keep your garden healthy organically coming up. Your news at 10 starts right now. Tonight, WDAM 7 News is proud to be on your side with WDAM 7 News at 10. Welcome in. Thanks for joining us. I'm Michael Clark, joined now by our chief meteorologist Patrick Bigby ahead of Memorial Day weekend. Of course, we uh, don't want to forget the reason for this weekend for all those who died serving our country. There's going to be several events and ceremonies going on to pay respects, and I know that they'll be going on different days throughout the weekend. So. Let's talk about the weather and how people can plan those events. Yeah, the weather is going to be looking really good for all those outdoor activities that they're going to be having on to uh, remember what the whole weekend truly is about. Let's go ahead and head over to the big board right now. We'll head over to the board this evening. And as we look ahead to your Memorial Day weekend, the big thing you're going to notice a lot of sunshine. Saturday 86 sunny skies, Sunday 87 sunny skies and this right here is something nice that we can actually look forward to as we uh, go into your Memorial Day weekend. Both Saturday and Sunday are looking good as well as Memorial Day Monday. We'll go in depth on that coming up here in just a few minutes, so you want to stick around for that. But right now we're noticing crystal clear skies tonight. Traffic's moving very smoothly there on Highway 49 as we look from the campus of USM where it's currently 69 degrees. And as we've been talking about all day, the air very dry out there, low humidity the muggy meter down into the comfy category. So that low humidity is going to stick around not only tonight, but throughout the entire Memorial Day weekend. So if you've enjoyed that dry feeling air, well, you're in luck. But eventually it is going to warm up and it will get humid and we'll talk more about it in my full forecast in just a few minutes. All right, Patrick, thanks. Well, more than 37 million people are expected to hit this hit the roads this Memorial Day weekend. According to AAA, the Mississippi Highway Patrol is adding troopers to make sure folks are driving safe. Here's a live look right now at traffic along Interstate 59. MHP's Memorial Day enforcement period began this morning at 6 a.m. and will end next Tuesday, May 30th at midnight. You can see here traffic moving pretty smoothly tonight. It was a little bit congested earlier as folks were heading south, some of them going towards beach destinations. Last year, MHP made 375 impaired driving arrests and investigated 125 crashes around the state. The period also coincides with National Click It or Ticket campaign. Several other Pine Belt law enforcement agencies are a part of that effort as well. Well, the Mississippi Armed Forces Museum at Camp Shelby honored the servicemen and women who sacrificed their lives defending our nation today. The museum hosted this annual Memorial Day service this morning. The event's focus was Army Specialist Joe Henry Brown of Jackson. He was killed in action in the Vietnam War back in 1968. The ceremony included the laying of a wreath at the museum's Gold Star Memorial. That marker honors the family members of those who've lost their lives in war. We choose Friday to actually do our Memorial Day ceremony to help set the tone for the entire weekend and, and moving into Memorial Day itself uh, for folks to be able to reflect and remember the fallen who paid the ultimate sacrifice for the freedoms that we enjoy. We are honored to have the families of, of those who have, who have paid the ultimate sacrifice in defense of our nation and our freedom. And we're honored to have, recognize them today uh, here at the Mississippi Armed Forces Museum, as well as have our Gold Star families present with us here today as we honor them. Now, attendees today included a contingent of about 60 French soldiers who are training there at Camp Shelby. Also today, people gathered in Columbia to honor the lives of law enforcement officers who died in the line of duty. It's an annual ceremony. Since 1960, eight law enforcement members died serving their community in the Columbia area. Neighbors joined family members of the fallen officers to honor their memories. Columbia Police Chief Michael Kelly says it's easy to forget the sacrifice made by local law enforcement, and this event serves as a reminder. We celebrate their life and we remember them. We, the, the, the most important thing that we can do is not let the community forget the sacrifice of those who have given their life in the line of duty. This memorial 
uh, the Stone Memorial and this gathering serves as that reminder to the community that there were brave people who put on a uniform and didn't go home at the end of their shift. Family members of the fallen law enforcement officers were given roses during the memorial ceremony. Well, an investigation is underway after a fire that damaged a home in Jones County this afternoon. Here are some images. No one was hurt. It happened on Sanford Road just before one o'clock. The homeowner was there working on the roof when it started. According to the Jones County Fire Council, several volunteer fire departments came out to help. Hattiesburg Parks and Rec is hosting a community dodgeball event this weekend. Neighbors wanted to see more weekend events and activities, so Hattiesburg Parks and Recreation responded. This dodgeball event is for people of every age with all levels of experience. It's not a tournament, but just a way for everyone to have fun. So it is open to um, everyone above the age of 12, but if you are under 18, um, we say that all minors need to be accompanied by an adult. It is not the big dodgeballs that you see on the movie Dodgeball. They are soft foam balls. Community Dodgeball will take place at the Ben McNair Center in Hattiesburg Sunday afternoon from 3 until 5. Well, the city of Hattiesburg shared its summer activity guide today so you can stay in the know about all the fun events in the Hub City this summer. From summer reading to musical performances, even community pool hours. Everything you need to know about summer events is in one place. You can find the download link for the guide on our website, WDAM.com. Well, Lamar County parents, listen up. The school district summer feeding program begins next week. This provides free lunches for anyone under 18 and under during the summer. The program runs next week through the first two weeks in June. Lunches will be given out from 11 in the morning until noon at Lumberton High School's cafeteria and at Purvis's High School cafeteria. Growing vegetables in your own garden is rewarding, but when pests get in the way of your success, it can be hard to find a way to get rid of the problem without hurting your crops. Our Hannah Hayes has the details on how to keep your garden organic and healthy. Organic gardening is a popular way to make sure your vegetable plants stay healthy without chemicals. If you haven't been keeping up your garden organically, it's not too late to start. With organic gardening, it's really not any different than other more traditional ways of gardening. We want to do, do all the same things. We want to make sure that we got good soil, uh, good cultural practices. We're starting with healthy plants or healthy seeds. And then we're, we're giving those plants adequate soil nutrients and, and fertilizer throughout the year. However, when pesky bugs get into your healthy plants, it can be discouraging. Luckily, there are several organic ways to remove them. Depending on the pest, you know, there's a lot of really good control options for some pests, and we just have to kind of learn to, to manage the other pests as best we can. It's important to remember that you can't just pick up any spray and use it for any pests. Depending on what's attacking your garden, there are different solutions. Tomato hornworms or tobacco hornworms, pretty common pests in tomatoes uh, in, in the south. They would fall under the category. They are a caterpillar, so we can treat those with things like Bt, Bacillus thuringiensis, and Spinosad. The first step to getting rid of them is identifying them. I would encourage you to get out in, in your garden, even though it's not bearing fruit yet, work in your garden, check it out, be looking for signs of insect or disease because the earlier we can kind of identify those and correctly identify what that, that pest is, the better chance we have of controlling it. In the Pine Belt, Hannah Hayes, WDAM7, on your side. Organic sprays for your garden can be found at your local home and garden store. With growing concerns of the impact of social media on children's mental health, now some in Washington are calling for action. Coming up, I'll tell you how some lawmakers are hoping to tackle what many say is a growing youth mental health crisis. This Memorial Day, WDAM7 would like to pause for a salute to fallen heroes.